So for the rest of this section, we're going to be looking at using the SUVAT equations, the constant acceleration formulae, in two dimensions. Okay, So when we incorporate it into two dimensions, uh, we've got several of these uh, parts of the formulae being vectors. Okay, So you need to understand which ones are vector quantities. And subsequently, um, what now we can use. Okay, So we know that velocity, uh, acceleration, and displacement are all vectors. Okay, because velocity incorporates speed and direction. Uh, acceleration involves um, the change in speed and direction as well. Okay, so um, and then you've got displacement, which involves distance and direction. Okay, so for SUVAT, we've got S that can be represented as a vector u, v, and a, but t is just a scalar quantity. Okay, Time is not a vector. Um, it doesn't have a direction. So when we're looking at these, we've actually just got s, u, v, and a as the vector, as the vector parts of this. So these are vectors, and this is a scalar. So that means that t is just a number. Okay. Now, when I'm looking through this list, which ones can we still use? So v equals u plus a t, we can certainly still use, because that makes sense, because we've got one vector is equal to one vector plus a multiple of another vector. So that works out. Now for the second one, we've got s, a vector, is equal to a half of adding two vectors together multiplied by a constant, multiplied by the scalar. So that's fine also. So s is equal to one half u plus v times t. Okay. Then number three, we've got the s equals ut plus a half at squared. So a vector is equal to some vector times a scalar plus a half of a vector times a scalar squared. That's fine. You can square a scalar, just a number. Okay. So s is uh, a, um, the sum of two vectors there. Right? So s is equal to ut plus one half a t squared. And likewise, number four is equivalent. That's fine also. Now, when we get to the last one, the problem is that we've got a v squared and a u squared. And we can't really square a vector. So that doesn't make sense. So that fifth one, uh, we don't have a representative for it for uh, SUVAT in two dimensions. Okay, so these are the SUVAT equations, the constant acceleration formulae in 2D that we'll be using in the next few videos.